helpfuls. Today we are buying police evidence for cheap. <gasps> Have you ever wondered what happens when the law confiscates items as evidence for a crime, but they don't need it anymore? Believe it or not, a lot of it gets auctioned off. Evidence rooms all over the country are stocked full of crime scene contraband and unclaimed property. It's a room where few cameras are ever allowed. That is gonna be evidence and confiscated material. And after a crime has been solved and there's no apparent reason to keep it, the items are either destroyed or sold, depending on the laws of the region and of course what it is. Most are not allowed to be legally sold at auction. Instead, they're all destroyed. Many other items, especially those that have been lost and unclaimed, do go to auction. Where do they sell off the stuff, you ask? GovDeals.com. I enlisted the help of two fellow hopefuls that happen to be officers, Officer Dakota and Officer Kelly, to come shop this evidence with me. I thought it would be cool to have their insight on why this stuff was confiscated and how it ended up on this website. Some of the most common items on this website are just lots of random jewelry, but it's not particularly nice jewelry, <laughs> so. My personal opinion, when I, when I see a lot of outdated costume jewelry. Unfortunately, my first thought is somebody passed, especially an elderly individual. If they see something of value and there's nobody there to watch the house, that it, that could be another thing that they take for safekeeping. Watches. When I see a bunch of like random watches like that, that had to be involved in like a string of burglaries. When people go into cells, like you make them take their jewelry off. So like anytime you take jewelry, you put it in like an envelope or something so that you made sure that they got it when they left. But it went in like a big like Tupperware tote. Like it easily could just be left in there, right? In all of these scenarios, the police try their best to reunite these items with their rightful owners. But a lot of the time they just go unclaimed. There are so many knives. This is 17 pounds of silver tone knives. Like obviously there's a variety of scenarios where a knife would be confiscated, but a couple of the listings specifically show that they're from TSA. If an item gets taken by airport officials when you're going through security, you actually have 30 days to go back to that airport and claim your item. And if you don't, they donate it or, yep, they sell it. <laughs> I'm guessing that's exactly the case with all of these customized souvenir pocket knives from New York. Why would you have so many of those? There's a surprising amount of nice electronics on this website. No, those are like Fitbits. <gasps> That's a couple thousand dollars worth of Fitbits for $27. My department, if we tow a vehicle, say somebody abandoned it, the driver was arrested, we have to search the vehicle. Things of value can't be towed with the car. So if there's anything in the car that's over X amount of dollars, we take it in and we keep it until the owner can be found and they can come collect it. Beats? <gasps> wow. $25, is that gonna go up? That's it, like nobody knows about this website. So some of this stuff- I didn't know about it. Really? So there's quite a few of these that are lots of like Apple AirPods. I won the auction for them. After all the fees and stuff, for $396. Okay, we've got our police confiscated Apple products. At least I hope it's Apple products because I kind of paid a lot for this. <laughs> <gasps> evidence. <laughs> it literally looks like an evidence folder. That's so freaky. And we've got some stragglers in the bottom. Okay, they're definitely Apple. Questionable condition. They're so dirty, ew. There's literally like earwax and hair on them. I kind of knew that would be the case, but. Oh, they're charged. Oh, we got an Apple Pencil. So, so far we've got Apple Pencil, two regular AirPods. Oh, there it is. AirPods, connecting. <gasps> Nikita's AirPods. Nikita Dragon. <laughs> they're playing. Can you hear it? Let's see what's in our evidence folder. Oh. <laughs> Three more pairs of regular AirPods. A pair of AirPod Pros. These ones are actually in pretty nice condition. Oh no, these ones have somebody's initials on them. Sad. And a whole bunch of these. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with these? Oh wait, we've got another pair of Pros that just don't have a case. Eight pairs of AirPods, two pairs of AirPod Pros, 
and an Apple Pencil. So what I'm thinking is I could clean these up. These could make really great Christmas gift donations. It seems like there's a ton of reasons that they could have ended up here, but a very probable one is theft. One pound of miscellaneous clothing. Typically, when something is seized and it's brand new with tags, my assumption is that they were seized when somebody was arrested for stealing them. I would assume like that construction light you just had there, they had that as like some sort of stolen property. Oh, I bet just, you're right because I think construction sites it. get robbed fairly often. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, so I bet you like someone stole that and no one was able to claim it. Massive amounts of this. But we have a lot of copper piping. Oh, this one, that might be from a construction cool. site too. Okay, this one is so random. Coach Blue Cologne. I think um, perfume is very like highly shoplifted. <laughs> so yeah. that would make sense. Another thing, people leave behind like luggage at a hotel or whatnot. Um, sometimes the hotels will contact the police department to see if we have any contact with the owners. This item that I'm about to show you is probably one of the most eerie ones. <gasps> is that like a full size surfboard? Inch? Oh my gosh, it has an evidence sticker on it. <gasps> my theory is that maybe the surfboard washed up on a beach and some people found it and called the cops thinking that a surfer was involved in some sort of accident. The surfboard went into evidence and maybe they like never found a person. And so they determined an accident never happened. At least I'm hoping so. <laughs> Detective Hope here. So I Googled the numbers 22523 that are on this evidence tag and a bunch of abandoned vehicle stuff came up. So I think I'm right. One of the most interesting listings was this one of unclaimed property. 43 pallets of unclaimed property. Now we've bought pallets of stuff on this channel before. So we know how big a pallet is. Now imagine 43 of these. <laughs> This one almost looks like stuff from somebody's house though. Evictions, oh, it says it right oh. there. Up and left and the landlord didn't want to deal with the stuff so they called the police. <laughs> they had to clean out the contents of it. That's not something that like my department would do or anybody that I'm aware of in my state. I mean, I guess if nobody ever claimed it, like I would assume it would just go into some sort of like government property. Some of these items actually look to be unclaimed lost and found, probably from schools, airports, or other government run facilities. Would something like that end up here? Like a mall lost and found? Potentially, I guess. Um, That's, I'm getting lost and found vibes from this. If people even leave stuff at police departments. If they come in to make a report mm. or something, bags get left. And if there's no identification on it, we're not able to reach out to try to return it, so. There was definitely a surprising amount of high value items, like literal silver. A silver bar? <gasps> For $5? <laughs> not authenticated, so could Possibly be fake silver, could be real, up to the buyer to decide. <laughs> Collector's items. Why would money end up confiscated? <laughs> mm -hmm. um, if it was used in a crime, typically it is seized. Something like that almost looks like a collector's item. All have been removed from circulation and is no longer a legal form of currency. Definitely a collector's item then if you literally can't use it. <laughs> and even just whole safes. Digital security safe, well, is there anything in it? <laughs> nope, it's empty. So that's another thing. When if people break into homes, they They'll might take a whole safe, safe. grab the whole thing. <laughs> <gasps> You'd be amazed how many we find in cars and just laying on the side of the road. Or hotel, like. <laughs> oh, it does look like a hotel safe. A Michael Kors bag with tags. Somebody probably stole it. If nobody, say from the store, ever reached out to the police department once the investigation was done, nobody ever tried to get the property back. And so it just sat at the department for so long that they had to do something with it. Oh, here it is. <laughs> this is the one I'm gonna try to bid on. Miscellaneous designer items. And they don't authenticate them. So these could be real, they could be fake. I have not seen a lot of real designer stuff on the road. I've seen plenty of counterfeit. It seems like with a lot of these listings, you're at high risk to get counterfeits, which is very ironic since it's the literal police selling it to me. 35 comic books. A thrift store will be like, oh, we came into these and the, like they seem to be sort of like counterfeit. This isn't something that my department ever deals with, but like, 
counterfeits. <gasps> we can only hope that that is not the case for this box. And now for the box I've been waiting for. It's actually two boxes. The designer bags. <laughs> I'm so excited to see what these are. Um, I learned my lesson from the AirPods though. We're putting on gloves this time. These are the only ones I have. At least it's something. After all the fees and stuff, it came to $353, which if at least one of these bags is real, was well worth it. Here we go. The heck is this? All right, we've got the coach bag and, oh my gosh, it's filthy. I, oh, it stinks too. A new day from Target. I'm not really sure why this ended up in the designer bags section. This fell off of it. Number five. I don't know what sort of crime this was involved in, but it's really seen better days. Okay, this one though, this one is nice. This is probably an actual coach bag. Olive green color with some silver hardware. The inside's actually not too bad. Yeah, it looks pretty authentic. Next box. Here we go. Oh my gosh. It's a Chanel bag. Just kidding. As you probably know, I actually bought this a couple videos ago for you. When we hit 3 million subscribers, I'm going to pick one of you to receive this beautiful vintage Chanel quilted bag. And if we can hit 3 million by the end of the year, I'm throwing in a second Chanel bag for you guys. Okay, here's what's actually in the second box. Okay, packaging. Ooh. We've got one something and the Louis Vuitton. Okay, let's inspect this first. My gut is telling me this probably isn't, I mean, it does have like a pretty legit looking lock. I mean, we'll get it authenticated and see if this is real. It's probably a $1,200 bag. It smells like coins. We've got our off-white bag. It comes with the strap. It looks pretty legit. It fits our aesthetic right now. This looks and feels pretty legit. Okay. Oh, Karen Callen Designs. I've never heard of that. It's pretty though, but I don't think she uses actual leather because stuff like this is going for $50 on Poshmark, but hey, $50. <laughs> and now it's time to find out if our bags are real. Um, Let's start with this little guy. Upon further inspection, do you notice anything? off about this logo. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't notice. I'm so embarrassed. It probably showed it in the pictures. So it's safe to say this is worth nothing. But let's find out about our Louis Vuitton bag. <laughs> okay, I haven't opened these results yet. We're gonna do it together. Hello there. Please find your authenticity certificate attached to this email. Good news. <laughs> what? The item has passed the authenticity check. No way. Is this fake? <laughs> no, what? Authentic. Now I'm like questioning my ability to spot fakes because I was really doubting this. I was fully prepared to take an L on this whole purchase, but we made money. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I spent $749 on all of this stuff and the secondhand value of all of it is over $1,800. Make sure to check out the video where I bought lost luggage or unclaimed mail if you haven't seen those. Enjoy the next video.